Hey guys and welcome back. Well, today it's automotive time, okay? We're gonna be doing a modeling video in the Maya 2018 and then we're gonna be creating a crankshaft with pistons and all kind of cool stuff, okay? Here we go. All right, guys, well, here it is, a uh, crankshaft for a, a four-cylinder line um, engine, uh, at least part of it. And uh, yeah, that's it, let's get started. So I'm gonna start with a polygon cylinder and I'm just gonna drag select my reference image, hit W and move that back for a sec. Take this guy, hit E to rotate, hold down J and we're gonna flip it over. And let's get this into place. So we know how the alignment will look, okay? Now I can do a couple of things. I can either take my reference and move that up and I think I'm gonna go for that because I want these this main shaft here to be uh, centered. So I'm gonna take this guy, I'm gonna turn on my X-ray, hit R to scale this guy down and see how well of a fit that is. And that looks pretty close. We'll need to move it up just a little, okay? So I'm just gonna move this up just a tiny bit. That looks pretty close. So we're gonna hit R, we're gonna scale it up just slightly. And I think that looks okay, all right? Now, technically we don't need those ends here, but that's fine. Uh, this is not supposed to be a low poly model, so I'm not gonna worry about it for now, all right? So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna go up to uh, Insert Edge Loop, Option Box, set that to Multiple and set that to Two. We're gonna go in and we're gonna put in Two right there. Now let's have a look here. I'm gonna hit R, I'm gonna scale them out until we're about there. Hit Q on my keyboard, right click go to face, drag select these and these. Hit Control E to extrude and let's go with, let's see, 0 0.1, that's a bit much. Let's do 0 0.03, okay, 0 0.05 then, that's better. Right, 0 0.05, perfect. And then we're gonna go to object mode, we're gonna Control D to duplicate it, hit W to move it and we'll put in one right there and we're going to hit control D again and we'll move one over here after frame it make sure it's set up properly and then we got those end pieces here so I'll hit control D one more time hit W move it over here and that one needs some adjusting and that's because of our perspective view here so what we'll do there is right click at a vertex, drag select these, and just push them into the counterweight thing, whatever it's called. We'll take these, we'll uh, bring that into about there, and then we'll take that end piece and bring it in to make that a bit thinner. And then of course we need a section at the other end. So I'm gonna hit Control D there as well. We're gonna push that over to this end. After frame it. Uh, let's see, what we'll do here is we'll hit E to rotate it around. Come on. We'll hit W to push it out, like so. Let's see, actually we'll do this with our main body. And I'm just gonna go in and take these faces here, delete those, we're gonna right click and go to vertex. Hang on guys, let me just do that properly. So we don't paint ourselves into the corner here. Just gonna take that face row there, get rid of it. And it's always a choice whether you continue to work with what you got or whether you uh, just start from scratch, okay? So let's uh, bring that in. So at least we got that. And then we're gonna hit W and we'll push this back to about here. We'll take all of this, push it out to about there. Take this, bring it in here, and then let's see what we got. We'll go in, we'll get an edge, we'll double click on it. Control E to extrude, R to scale in. G to repeat and W to pull out. Let's have a look. That's pretty close. Good, good. And then we're gonna go in. And we're gonna go up to mesh and um, Actually, edit mesh, no, mesh, where do you go? Yeah, and fill hole. Now that's gonna create an end gun. I don't want end guns, obviously, but I don't wanna spend a lot of time on uh, cleaning up the mesh uh, manually. So I'm just gonna go to mesh and clean up, which will create some triangles. 
but that's fine. At least we don't have any engans. Okay, so that looks all right. Now let's see what's next. Um, we got um, additional sets down here. Okay, so for that I'm gonna select one of these guys and hit Control D to duplicate, and W to move down. And it's extremely important that these are properly aligned because if you want to animate this thing at some point um, and one of them is not aligned, you're in big trouble, okay? So let's uh, bring that in to about there, I would say. And again, keep in mind that that perspective view is not helping, all right? So I'm gonna hit uh, Control D to duplicate. Let's uh, bring that over to this end. We'll put one in right in there. And then we're gonna hit Control D to duplicate again. I'll uh, push that up, push that in here. And then we'll hit Control D once again, and we'll move it over here. All right. Okay, so that's what we have so far. Looks okay. And then let's focus on one of these counterweights, okay? So I'm gonna take a polygon cube, and what I'll do actually is I'll just move this out of the way, take all of this, and we'll go to mesh and uh, combine for now. And I'm just gonna hit H to hide it, okay? So we'll take this, we'll bring it in. And let's have a look and see what we got. I'm gonna hit R, I'm gonna push that back, hit W, move it in. Right click the vertex, drag click the bottom there, drag click the top, bring that up, take this corner, push it in, and then we're going to go to Injured Edge Loop option box. Let's set that to, let's do five, that should be fine. And there you have it. I'm going to queue on my keyboard, I'm going to right click the vertex, and I'm going to start to move these in just slightly. So don't go nuts on that. Take the last one and bring that in. Now how this is looking from the front is hard to say um, because we don't have that view. Uh, so we kind of need to uh, basically guess, I would say. So I'm gonna take these and I'm gonna hit R uh, we're just going to kind of bring them in like this. That looks about right. And then we need to smooth this guy out. So we're going to go and put in some manual edges all right so let's go in and I'm gonna start here I'll put one in here one in there we'll do one here and one here and I think that covers most of it Q on a keyboard go to object mode hit 3 to preview smooth Right, that's not too bad, but we do need to tweak that shape a little bit. Actually, more than a little bit, okay? So we're gonna go in and the bottom part there needs to be a bit heftier, if you will. So I'm just gonna go in here and let's uh, bring that way in. All right, that looks better. And then if we hit three to preview smooth, we'll get something like this, which is better. Okay, so let's get a mesh and smooth. To actually smooth it, hit one to get rid of our preview smooth. So I'm happy with that. So we're gonna go to display, heads up display, actually not, we're gonna go to show and show all. There you go. Let's take this guy. Uh, that's pretty spot on actually, not too bad. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to uh, edit, duplicate special, option box, negative one on X and hit duplicate special, which will create this copy here. We're gonna hit W and move that over here. So we've got one and two, okay. 
Hit Control D to duplicate that. Move that over here. Looks like I lost some sort of connection because it's turning green, but we'll see. Let Control D again. We'll move it over here, and then we'll go in and hit E to rotate it, and hold down J and flip it around. Hit Control D on that again. W to move that. And let's just see what we got here. Sign new material. Lambert. I've seen that happening before, and as far as I know, it's some sort of, um, I don't know, some sort of material issue. Not, not quite sure. Now you can see that the thin part is a bit of an issue down here where these axles are not, uh, where the bottom part of the counterweight isn't big enough. So uh, unfortunately I have to go in and fix that, um, my bad. So we'll do that. I think that's gonna work, okay. Let's, uh, yeah, let's go in, go to mesh and smooth one more time. That should be fine, okay? So let's get these guys in place. Uh, where is our guy? There it is, yeah. So we're gonna hit W, we're gonna move that over here. We're gonna go up to edit. We're gonna go to duplicate special, option box and duplicate special. Move that in here. Let's have a close look at this guy right now. So we're gonna to go to mesh and separate so we can get these into place properly. Modify and center pivot. Let's bring it in like that. So these two are fine now. So we're gonna hit Control D to duplicate. Let's hit W, move it over here. And then hit E to rotate it and hold on a G A and flip it around like this. Okay. And then we're gonna hit the control D again, W to move it over. Hit control D again, W to move that over, and E to rotate. And again, that image is very much distorted because of the angle of the uh, the photo. Don't worry about it, okay? So let's uh, make sure that this is properly rotated, yeah. And we'll go in and we'll take this one, this one, and this one, right like assign new material, do a new Lambert, and it's all good. Okay, now, um, looks like we got a part that we don't need or want or whatever. So let's go in and turn on our X-ray again, and let's see what we got. So this all looks good. This needs to be moved and this needs to be moved. Uh, I think everything else uh, looks okay. Let's have a look. So make sure that these guys are all centered. They seem to be, this looks fine. You can maybe hit W and slightly move that over. That one looks fine, that one looks fine, okay. So that's the main part. So let's select the whole thing. Go to Mesh and Combine. We're gonna to go to Edit, Delete by Type History, and let's go to Modify and Freeze Transformation. Okay, now if we have the pivot point of this guy exactly in the middle of that axle, which would be there, okay? If we hit E to rotate this, and we do, we should be able to see how this would work. Right, there you go. So that's fine. Okay, so let's move on. We're gonna hit H to hide this guy. We're gonna start with the top of the, um, what is that thing called, piston, yeah. So we'll take a polygon cylinder and we need to keep in mind how many uh, sections we want. We want this to be rounded at the sides and we want it to be flat at this end. 
But before we do that, a couple of things we need to change, okay? So if you've got five there, five there, and let's say five on each side, okay, that's gonna be 20. So let's go into our attribute editor, and it's on 20, that's good. And then we're gonna go into the bottom here, and I'm gonna right click on the face. And I'm just gonna select these faces because I don't want them. I'm gonna do it manually. And hopefully not select a bunch of stuff that we need. We'll see, there you go. Happens every time. Don't want that and don't want that. All right, so we have that. Uh, let's see, okay, so we're gonna go in here and we got one, two, three, four, five. So we're gonna go into Vertex and I'm gonna take one and two and throops and three, four, five, just so I know where I'm at, which end. And then here we can do the same thing. So I got one, two, three, four, and five. Okay. I'm gonna hit W and I'm gonna move that up. And let's have a look at our reference here. So I'm gonna go to object mode. Let's uh, kind of model it based on this guy. So let's hit R, let's uh, scale that down. That looks to be about right. Pull it up slightly. So now we can go in here and we can right click at a vertex. We're gonna drag select these and these. Bring that up. Then let's select this and this. Let's uh, bring, that's too much. Try that again. That and that. that and that all right that's not too bad then let's go in uh, to insert edge loop and let's do multiple we'll set that to two and let's go in here okay and we'll hit R to push them together so they'll be straightened out for the most part and uh, let's do that again. Okay. All right, I'm gonna W and move that up to about there. Then we're gonna take these two, move it up to about there, and take these two, and let's see if we need to adjust those. We'll take the one on top there, and we'll do this. Okay. So now that we have that, right there, yeah. I'm gonna queue on a keyboard, we're gonna right click at a face, and I'm gonna click and shift double click, click, shift double click. We're gonna control E to extrude. Let's do minus 0 0.1, which is a bit much. Minus 0 0.03 is probably better. Okay. That looks right, not too bad. This needs some thickness, just a little, so the inside looks better, um, but we're not quite there yet. We need to adjust the sides as well. So let's go in and uh, we'll do a new edge, a manual one. And we'll do that right here. And this seems to be off, but that's fine. And I'll show you in a second why, okay? So we'll just push this down for a bit and then we'll go in and we'll do another one and we'll do that one just about here okay we're going to queue on our keyboard this is going to be a bit tricky we're going to go in right click face one two three and four delete and one two three and four and delete 
Now what we're going to do here is we're going to go in and we're going to right click and go to edge and select this edge and this edge and we're going to go to edit mesh and bridge okay and then uh, let's see we need a number of sections here um, one two three yeah that's fine let's do it this way mesh and fill hole and we'll need to do the same here so we're going to take these two go to edit mesh and bridge and then double click here fill hole g to repeat g to repeat so we've got huge end gons left and right so we're going to go to object mode mesh and clean up as before it will give us some triangles but that's fine okay no end gons okay so we got that guy now if you like you can go in and give it a bit of a rounded top um, you can do that uh, you don't have to but i think this looks okay so just for the heck of it let's see what this looks like if we smooth it out mm, not too bad i can live with that okay so we're going to go to mesh and smooth and hit one so we get rid of that preview smooth look this looks okay and what we're going to do is we're going to go in and we're going to control D to duplicate it, hit W to move it over. Why am I selecting everything here? I don't want that. Get rid of that. There we go. Control D to duplicate. Move it over. After frame it. Okay. Control D again to duplicate it again. Let's bring it down, bring it over. Again, after frame it. And push it down just a bit. And then we're gonna control D once again. And after frame it. Okay, let's go to uh, display and show all. Okay, so we're getting there. Now for the, um, I'm gonna go with piston arms. I don't know what they're called. Okay, so uh, that's what we're gonna do. Um, so what I need to do there is um, first start with a polygon pipe. Okay, and I'm just gonna pull this out. And what we're gonna do here is go in. Let's set this to eight subdivisions and have a look from the top after frame that so that wouldn't be too bad and i'm going to hit control d to duplicate that i'm going to bring it down and as i do that let's say to here i'm going to scale that up a bit now i want the same thickness so i'm going to hit after frame that and then push it back in and we don't know the exact the thickness just yet so I'm gonna eyeball it for now so we've got these two and they need to be connected so I'm gonna select them both go to mesh and combine and then I'm gonna right click get a face and I'm gonna select these two faces and delete them go in here and one and two delete those as well now this guy is obviously way too big, so let's uh, go to mesh and separate, and then go to modify center pivot, take this guy, modify center pivot, All right, and I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna take this edge. Now it needs to be combined again. Mesh combine, right click edge, double click, shift, double click, edit mesh and bridge. There you go. And yeah, that's fine. 
We're going to hit uh, E to rotate it and hold down J until it's sitting upright. And then we're going to flip it in this direction. And that's going to be roughly what we're going to be working with. And now we need to get everything into size and so forth. So where are we at? Okay, so we're here. So we're going to hit R and we're going to start to scale this thing way down. Hit W, we're going to bring this up. And I'm just going to bring it in here because that should roughly be the middle based on this line right there. And then as far as going up, we've got some liberty there because it's going inside. You can see though that that thickness is way too much. So we need to tweak that, but we'll do that in a second. Let's first look at this view here. Um, that's the center of our axle. So what we're going to do is let's move our pivot point. So I'm going to hit the insert key. I'm going to hold down V and I'm going to snap it to this corner, right? And then I'm going to bring it in manually until it's aligned with the top right there. And I'm going to hit the insert key again, hold down V once again and snap it to this point. So that's going to give me a good indication. Let's get this thing out of the way. Yeah, there we go. So if we move it in here, that seems to be okay. Yeah, we can work with that. All right. So we're going to move this out. I'm going to hit three to preview smooth. Let's see how that looks. Yeah. Uh, we need to tweak it. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to uh, insert edge loop. Well, let's put one in right there. And then we're going to hit R and we're going to scale that way in. And then we'll go to insert edge loop again. Put one in here and scale that way in. You want to keep it nice and thin. Okay. And then what you can do is go in and take these faces just to give it a little bit more decoration, if you will, or detail or whatever it's called. Yeah. One more. Control E to extrude. Let's do minus 0 0.3, not minus 0 0.3, 0 0.3. Yeah. And then let's tweak the thickness. Let me just see what I'm doing here, guys. I'm messing it up. Uh, let me see. Control E. Tweak that offset a little bit. It's responding pretty fast. 0 0.02. 0 0.01. No, 0 0.08. Move the other way around. Yeah, that looks better. Yeah. Makes it look a bit more beefy, okay? And sometimes you just have to try things. Okay. Hit Control E. Let's do thickness. Let's do the offset. 0 0.03, 0 0.08. Okay. So we got that. Let's uh, bring it in a bit from this view. Okay. So we're going to go into vertex. I'm going to drag select these and these. Come on. This guy only. Vertex. These and these. Hit R. Push them in. That will work. These, not that important. We're not really going to see them. That was more kind of a test to see what we could make that look like. But I'm not unhappy with this. All right. So now we're going to go in and we're going to go to mesh and smooth to actually smooth it, which will give us something like this. And I think it looks okay. So we're going to hit W. We're going to move that. And now look at it from several angles to make sure that it's all okay. I'm going to hold down V again. I'm going to snap it right there. There you go. 
So that should be okay. And then we're gonna check it from this view. And we're gonna make sure that it's perfectly centered right here. And we're gonna work our way up. So we're gonna start by centering it on these axles and then we're gonna look at the top there, okay? So control D to duplicate. Let's uh, bring that in. That looks fine too. Control D to duplicate it again. We're gonna work our way down to right there. Control D again and move it over to right there. Now, um, let's see. Oops, sorry. So we're gonna take this guy. Uh, let me see. Yep. And we're gonna hold down V and we're gonna make sure it's snapped properly. Take this guy. Make sure we got that spot on. It's pretty important. Yep. Yeah. They're both snap properly and then we got this guy yeah that's snap properly so there you have it so that looks okay these need to move this one right here so we're gonna bring that in and at this point I'm gonna turn off my x-ray so we kind of see what's going on there. So we've got one there. We got one right there. So they all look all right. This looks centered, 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 and centered. And as far as I can tell, guys, this is it. Okay, no idea how long this took. Uh, hopefully, it was helpful in some way and. Uh, gave you some inspiration to work on uh, your model engine and whatnot. Uh, that said, uh, thank you very much for watching. Make sure you don't miss the uh, big, big giveaway uh, when I hopefully hit 75,000 subscribers. And that said, uh, see you guys next time. Bye.